Let's see, where's Tyler? Where is... <gasps> Whoa! Dude, what are you doing in there? Um, I... Daddy, and we have been home, and today is hot out, so I get to check out this pool, and it is awesome. It does look awesome. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I was getting attacked by a wasp. So anyway, hot out. Tyler's hanging out in his pool that we had stashed in the closet. I'm glad it's still operational, no holes in it. So what do you think, Bubba? Good. But there's a bug in here. A like bug? This. So anyway, that's how Tyler is spending his afternoon playing with his dinosaurs in this beautiful resort-style pool. Say bye. Bye. I bet you have a good day. And tomorrow, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, so while Tyler's back there having fun, this video is going to be on cooking up some of them grouper fillets that I brought home from fishing the other yesterday. Um, I did get a couple of fillets, nice and fresh obviously, right from the Gulf of Mexico. And we are going to grill them, but we're going to use a cool little technique. We're going to cut off a banana leaf from the banana plants out back, and we're going to wrap them in that. Right now, Christine has them soaking in coconut milk. It's supposed to tenderize it and maybe give it a little hint of uh, coconut. And then we're going to wrap it after she seasons it. We're going to wrap it in that banana leaf. We've never done it before. It just seems cool, you know. Give some appeal to it. And we'll cook it on the grill. So let's see right, how it so works. So here are the fillets we are going to attempt to cook in some banana leaves. we got to go to the banana patch out there and get us one nice big leaf. We took it out of the coconut milk. And now, what are you making? This is grated ginger right now, lemongrass and garlic paste. Ginger, lemongrass, and garlic paste. And then you're just going to rub it on it and that's it? With some salt, pepper, and uh, turmeric. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of turmeric. Not a lot because that stuff's potent. But it's good for you. <laughs> cool, so let's go get a leaf. Okay, so I see the one I want to use. It hasn't been ripped by the wind or anything like that. It's just a nice big leaf. So let's go try and get that guy. Got the mixture all rubbed in. Now let's go prepare the banana leaves to be the vessel that it'll cook in. First thing you want to do is just gently, you know, just wipe it off with like a cloth, a kitchen rag or something and some water. Just to get any debris off. Be gentle, go with it. With the veins because it does rip easy. Now that we did that, we're going to cut the main stem out of it. I'm going to try and just use a box cutter. Alright, we got our piece. I'm just going to dry them off real quick with a paper towel. Give me a scissor. Something like that. That looks 
so yeah, like she said, when I was trying to wrap it with those banana leaves, it did look terrible. It's like when I try and wrap gifts, you know? I don't do that either, because I always rip the paper and all that crap, so... I didn't film the rest of the process. She took over. I went and grabbed a beer. So, we'll take a look at them, though, before we put them on the grill. Right now, we got the charcoal right in the center. It's going to get nice and white and hot. And then we're just going to lay the fish fillets that are wrapped in the banana leaves directly over the charcoal. We'll see how it works, man. I don't know. We've never done it before, but we've got these beautiful banana plants. We might as well start trying to use them, right? So, anyway, we'll wait for that charcoal to get hot. All right, so we'll let's get, get them on. on. Here's what they look like, all wrapped up. We just used toothpicks to uh, hold them together. So I think I'm just going to put one there, put one there. Alright, so just got them on right over the coals. We're just going to cap them off. I don't know, let them roll for like 20 minutes and take a look. Looks cool, man. This is pretty neat to use my own banana leaves in this kind of cooking. It's kind of cool. Hopefully it comes out good. Let me take a look at how the banana leaves are holding up. Not too bad, actually. They seem to really be holding up good. So, really keeping that steam inside of those uh, pockets. The trick is how hard will they be to get off of there. Hopefully they're easy to tra uh, transport to the plate. We'll leave them on for, I don't know, another 10 minutes or so. I think they've been on about 10. We were thinking about, well, they've been on about 15 minutes. So maybe another 10 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll take them off. So what is this, babe? Cucumber kimchi. Cucumber kimchi, you can make it real quick and eat it that night, that dinner. It's awesome. This one is the, the, there's two different versions. That one's the quick one, a salad type. Yeah, really good, man. Real good flavor. You could adjust the spice if you want, and it's just quick and just so tasty. We would go with rice, the fish that we're doing on the banana leaves, stuff like that. If you guys want a video on how to make this, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll make a video on it. It's so good. These are shishito peppers. I grabbed one of them and put it in the back room. We'll try and collect seeds from it. Maybe plant it in the spring or indoors. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes. Let's get them off. Let them rest. Nice, nice and easy. I like that. Beautiful. Here we go, guys. Grouper fillets cooked in our own banana leaves. It definitely has a unique smell. It's awesome. This is really cool. I hope they came out good. Hello ladies, still at it. Just got done taking the fish off, letting that rest while mama finishes the rest of the sides. But boy, I tell you what, is it worth it, huh? I know they loved it, they had a good time. But a two week grow, and then you get <laughs> like one day, half a day out of it. I'm sure it's really good for them though. Still going at it. They leveled it though. It's There's some wheatgrass over here laying down. <laughs> A two week salad I guess you could call it. Alright, well y'all have fun before you go back to the coop to sleep. Let's go unveil the fish out of the banana leaves. Alright, so let's unwrap one of the fillets and see how it is. It's 
still nice and moist inside here. Ooh, look at that. Let's try it out and see what we got. All right. Looks like it's cooked good. Mmm. Yep, that's cooked good, guys. About 25 minutes was pretty good. You definitely taste the turmeric. Mm -hmm. Not so much of the coconut. No, the coconut but that's now. good. Mm-hmm. So there you go, success. We're gonna eat this with some rice, the cucumber salad kimchi she made. She made some miso soup. Oh yeah, it's on. Y'all have a good day and have a good week this week. We are on vacation, so we'll probably see you, I don't know, in a couple days All right, later. Guys, so I just got done eating, man, that was good. The miso soup, the cucumber kimchi salad, rice, that fish. That was awesome. I'm definitely going to start incorporating that when we do fish because it's a cool little vessel to use versus tin foil, right? I go pick a banana leaf and make it happen. So that was pretty cool. I like that. Tomorrow, we are going to Bush Gardens. We're surprising Tyler. He doesn't know. He thinks he's going to school. It's Monday. So we're just going to head out and drive off. Just me, Mama, and Tyler. Anthony just took his uh, girlfriend Chelsea back to college to the East Coast over there three hours away so he won't be back till like tomorrow but we're gonna take Tyler and surprise him at a day of Bush Gardens so that'll be fun I might video a little but probably not man I'm probably gonna be hanging out with my my wife and my four-year-old so it'll be cool but great fish it was awesome put it on there about 25 minutes direct high over the coals in them banana leaves and it worked out perfect so very good and if like I said if you want some uh, maybe videos on that other food let us know man maybe I'll do some that's it for now guys have a good day